Hey guys, it's Brie from Precious Style Pads and today I'm going to be reviewing the Lily Cup Compact. So I swear, ever since this cup company released their Kickstarter campaign, uh, I've been having my inbox inundated with questions from people like, have you heard of this new cup? Have you heard of this campaign? Are you going to be reviewing it? When are you going to be reviewing it? And the answer obviously is yes, I have heard of it and I am very fortunate enough to have the cup already because the company contacted me saying they really liked my last review I did on their first cup, the Lily Cup and would I be interested in being one of their VIP vloggers and of course I was like, uh, hell yeah, that'd be great. So they sent me the size A and the size B which is currently in its compact form. So as you can see here, the size A is the same colour as always and actually I have the packaging of the size B right here. I did cut the stem off size A because I used this one but I kept size B intact and I'll just take it out so that you guys can see here. So this is what it looks like in its compact state with its stem and when I pull it out, da da da, there is the compact menstrual cup. Isn't that awesome? I think this is such a great innovative idea. And as always, as I say with all my reviews, you know, I was sent this for me to do a review on, so it was free, but I always try and do as honest a review as I can, and there were some cons to this cup, so I am gonna go through them, and I'll go through them first before I get onto the positives. So, well, actually I might not do that, because when I first got this cup, my biggest worry was because it's really soft down here, and up here it's much firmer around the rim, which you can kind of expect, because this bit does need to collapse, so it can't really be too firm. But the biggest issue for that is when I insert my menstrual cups, usually I need to push them up. So I was thinking when I do that, I felt this and I was like, uh, this cup is just gonna like collapse inside me when I do that. What am I gonna do? But I thought, hey, you know what, I'll wait till my period and I'll give it a try. And indeed my period's just finished, so I have given this a test run now. And what I did was I used the punch down fold for this cup because I didn't really, I kind of gone off the seven fold, so the punch down fold was the one I used. The silicone on this cup I swear, the Lily Cups both have the nicest silicone ever. It's so, so smooth and it feels weird because it feels like it shouldn't be as easy to insert as it is, but it's probably the easiest silicone I've ever inserted. So I think it's, it's the silicone these is fabulous on this. It's really good quality and it's very easy to insert. So I had no problems getting this cup in at all. It opened up very easily. And actually because the rim is so firm up here, it got a bit, it got sucked up a bit. So it wasn't as far out as I expected it to be. And because of that, there was only about this much left outside my vagina. So what I had to do then was, I discovered very quickly that obviously I couldn't push it up, but as soon as I took my finger and I inserted it up to the rim and nudged it up like this, then I could get it easily inside me and I had no issues whatsoever, couldn't feel it or anything, so that's great. The other bonus to having a collapsible cup, and something that someone mentioned on my forum I think when they were talking about this, because there's been a lot of speculation over this, is that yes indeed you can actually fold this cup like that when it's inside you. So if you have a shorter cervix one day, and you have this cup with you and you really need to use a menstrual cup, you can push it in like this. I didn't test the cup when it was like this for whether it leaked or not when that happened, but because I would imagine the rim is solely responsible for stopping this from leaking, and indeed I didn't have any leaks with it, and I used it overnight, um, I would assume that that would be fine, but you really probably want to test that out beforehand. But the compactness of the cup is designed to be like super handy and you, know, you can keep it in your handbag for emergencies and stuff so that would be great if it is because sometimes you know my cervix can move up and down and drop a bit which isn't great for when you're on a move and you have to have a menstrual cup with you and you don't know if it's going to fit or not so having this a cup that you can actually adjust the um, the length of it would, is fantastic I think and obviously it's such an innovative idea I swear I've said this already but I was so excited when I saw it and it really is I think the compact and easy solution they think it is the issue I had with it, and this is the main one, and it's really the only real picky negative point I can think about it is, for me, I have a sensitive urethra, so I really need to be able to take cups out and do the U-fold like this, or the hot dog and a mum method. With cups like this that have a firmer rim and a softer base, a lot of you might know that that's very difficult to do, because when you just pinch the cup, and this cup has a really strong suction as well, like there's no way you are not gonna get a suction with this cup, it's really, really strong. Um, when you pinch down here, you can see there's virtually absolutely no way you can get this cup to fold whatsoever. So what I had to do, and the reason I think this cup is great, but you probably need a bit of experience with menstrual cups beforehand, even their other cup is pretty easy, it would be a great starting point, but the reason I think you need a little bit of experience with this cup beforehand is because you need to pull it down a little bit, so wiggle it away down, until you can insert your finger up to the rim. Once you've got the rim, it's so easy to do that and you can just pull it out. 
And then I had no issues at all, it didn't hurt or anything, but I did notice the first time that I didn't quite realise I had to do that. And some people don't have that issue at all, so then in that case this really doesn't apply to you. But for me I do need to fold it to really avoid having any kind of stinging sensation. The little case that they come with, I know there was someone asking you about whether it would cause mould because you keep it in an airtight container. It does actually have holes here, I don't know if you could see right there. A couple of holes so it's not airtight and it does allow the air to circulate around the lily cup. And obviously when you keep it in your handbag, it is a little bit, um, it, I first got this and I was like how does this thing fold but actually you just basically take it like this, push two sides in and it goes in really compact and then put it in the case. The case can be a little bit difficult to open but I think that's a pro because when this is in your handbag you don't want it to be just flinging open everywhere. So you do kind of have to fiddle with it but once you've kind of fiddled about and you've got it it's really easy to open. It just takes a bit of practice but when I say practice I mean five minutes. So this is the B size and the reason I'm showing you this one is because they sent me both so that you guys can see the difference in their rim diameter. The cups are the same length and the stems are the same length as well but you can see here, well hang on I'll show you that first, so here you go. Cups the same length, but the B is wider, and you can see that here. The rim is a few millimeters wider. There you go. But capacity-wise, they're pretty much the same, and they do recommend that this is only used for people with a light to medium flow. It doesn't really hold a lot. I think it's about even the bigger size is probably only 20 mm capacity, because obviously it does have to narrow down here so that it can collapse. But um, it is obviously, if you have a light to medium flow, it's something you should consider. Heavy flow, maybe not so much. But if you want an emergency cup that's really compact and discreet in your bag, then this might be one you want to consider still. But the cup, oh, sorry. The reason I want to show you the B is because I cut the stem off of the A cup. And one thing I want to mention is you cannot cut below the bottom ring. See here, there's like, hang on. One, two, three, there's four rings. You can't cut below this ring right here because then it's literally just you'll have a gaping hole at the bottom there. So you do need to leave one ring on, but here you have the stem, it's not stretchy whatsoever, quite short, a little bit flexible, and it's hollow, so it's a bit squishy. But it's, it's a really easy to grab stem. But I wanted to show you that, and that's why I kept this one intact and didn't use it, because I don't have a heavy flow, so this easily held my flow. Didn't use it on my heavy day, because you guys probably know I had a bit of an incident on my heavy day, and I just used pads for the main majority of it. But I did use this on my regular day and I had no issues with it whatsoever. So amazingly I managed to remember to keep the boxes for this one and in fact I also have the instruction manuals that these came with and they come in a variety of languages. There's tons of info in there. A couple of nice little diagrams you guys can see. As far as the cup goes, it does what it says it does. It's a compact, really convenient cup you can just keep in your handbag or as an emergency cup if you don't think it would work well as just your everyday cup and it really is going to be discreet and I think it's absolutely fabulous that the menstrual cup world is moving forward in this way and the lily cup especially is trying to change things because it's really important to keep this as a new idea so that it draws more and more people in as it's the new thing other than tampons. Definitely is as convenient as having a tampon in your bag. There's a tampon compact so it's about time there was a menstrual cup compact. It does what it says it's going to do and it works which is the crucial thing. Like every menstrual cup there are a few pros and cons to them and you just have to discover what your body type is. I think I've said before that you do probably need to have a little bit of experience with menstrual cups before you get this one just because you really want to have some sort of knowledge of how menstrual cups work and the way that you can get tricks to open them up and insert them and that sort of thing. Actually opening up was never an issue with this cup but you know what I mean. There are different little things you need to know about them but it's definitely a good menstrual cup for what it says it is and I would definitely recommend it. So thank you so much to the Lily Cup Company for sending these to me. I was honoured to be a VIP vlogger and I really did love them. And thank you so much guys for watching. Please subscribe and I will talk to you later. Bye bye. Oh and I think I totally forgot to mention guys this cup isn't actually available to buy just yet. It's still being developed and processed and also it's on Kickstarter because they need money to support it. But if you support their campaign you can get this for a discounted price which I think is fabulous. So then if you want to try this out maybe go ahead and I'll put the link down below so you can find that right away.